Welcome back. Okay, uh, there's a mission that needs to be done on Tuchanka, then uh, possibly Benning. Actually, likely. No, Benning is, uh, is next, I fail. Alright. After I deal with the Cerberus presence here on Tuchanka. Cerberus, you fight them actually more in more missions, generally mission crappy missions like these, but you fight them more than you fight the fucking Reapers. I'm not kidding, I counted. Going with the same team as usual. Yeah, I guess I should just use James once, maybe. One of these missions. Just see how powerful he is. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. Gonna stick with the striker as well in this case. Alright, Garrus. Arms Master. Power damage. <laughs> power damage. Uh. Now, this is the problem with James. Well, he has Carnage. I guess that's, uh, that's the one thing. Let's go kill him. Shepard Service's landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground to space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there and stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Hack it out. Looks like Cerberus got that cannon operational, Commander. I'll go back up, get a read on what they're shooting at. Get on it. All right. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. Sounds simple enough. To you, maybe. Commander, I have a visual on an inbound Cerberus cruiser. The cannon fire is clearing the way. That ship makes it to bombardment range, the Krogan resistance is in trouble. Keep track, Lieutenant. Aye. Krogan resistance? Okay. Let's see. This is their planet. What resistance? This mission doesn't make any goddamn sense. Badly, this bad uh, idea. Anyway. Anyone got a shot? Oh, shit. Let's uh, do that. Then I think it's time to test this. Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. There's plenty of relics.
Just making sure all is well before anything more. Uh, I do anything more here. Uh, okay, let's activate this. They're pulling the plug. You need to get the power back on. Let's move. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I wanted to charge and the work. Well, let's even deck the plug. You need to get the power back on. Let's move. Okay. Got nothing except this. Maybe I should use Nova and then Barrier. But then, uh, oop, crap. The but I keep. I, I even heard the button being pressed. What the? F They're pulling the plug. God damn. Let's move. I've rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now. All right. Commander, 
Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Good work, everyone. All right. Not too bad. Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. <laughs> Soldiers out of our civilians, they don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if I think of something. Giant guns, Commander Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Didn't I? What's this about? Didn't I already talk with him? So I hear the elusive man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? You love whiskey? Hey, Scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon. Completely different. He's a psychotic megalomaniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Ely Scotch. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. <laughs> Engineers wanting to be safe, huh? It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception. Allowing life to flourish, century upon century. Letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces. And we are their prey. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You would think she'd never seen a Prothean before. Commander. Uh, she hasn't? No one has. But I guess it would be difficult to conceive, you know. I have to ask, do you all war reporters look so, um, feminine? I mean, you're made up so well. We actually have a research department for that. 
They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Salarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. Commander. <laughs> Creepy. Hmm. For you, maybe. It's a hundred credits, quite literally, that we're talking about here. It's irrelevant. Chunka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Which we literally did. Ready when you are. Occasional texture problem. Though the one on Sir Cash with the broken panels is actually more of a texture problem that's existed in the base game, I believe. Might be some tweaks and all that. It's it's accepted. It's uh, it's likely that's gonna happen. Maybe later. Well, okay. No calibrations, guys. Disappointed. Greetings, Commander. I had something I wanted to show you, Shepard. Could we meet in your cabin when you have a moment? Sure. I just gotta go save the fucking game. Okay, first. I'll invite her up. I know what this is about. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You should describe how hard I fought to get here. Say that the Reapers can be hurt. And that I gathered up a whole galaxy to do just that. I like that. Any civilization that comes after us will still need heroes. Even ancient alien ones. You're gonna make me sound like something out of a legend? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, 
I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. That's one of the better moments of this game. Underscores the desperation, the hopelessness, the hopes and dreams of everyone alive in the galaxy. <laughs> and of the species that are coming. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and I'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Nothing to report, Commander. My board is green. Well, that's that. Let's go for Benning. After I hear what Edie has to say, and Joker. Commander? Shepard, you are staring. Yeah, what? Your tits? 